facts here is that both aviators on the jet were immediately rescued and are okay. But the crash raises more questions about Navy operations in the Seventh Fleet, which has seen its share of issues over the past few years. The FA-18 Super Hornet was doing routine operations when the jet suffered what the Navy is calling a mechanical issue. The jet crashing into the Philippine Sea with both aviators managing to escape safely. Both were rescued by the USS Ronald Reagan and brought back to the ship. Monday's incident comes less than a month after another mishap on the Reagan. In late October, a Seahawk helicopter that had just taken off experienced an issue crashing into the flight deck of the Reagan during an attempted emergency landing. A dozen sailors were hurt in that crash, though none of the injuries were considered life-threatening. The Reagan is based in the Navy's 7th Fleet, an area that saw 17 sailors die in two collisions involving the USS Fitzgerald and USS John S. McCain in the summer of 2017. That prompted Navy-wide safety reviews with Vice Chief of Naval Operations Bill Moran talking to News 3 about the implementation of recommendations in July. This reset on ready for sea assessment construct is also working its way across the entire fleet, east and west coast. Uh, so that reset piece was, was really what I believe was important. The Navy says investigations are underway right now into both of the recent aviation mishaps involving the Reagan. And you may remember it was a year ago this month that three service members were killed when the C-2A Greyhound they were on crashed also into the Philippine Sea, again on its way to the USS Ronald Reagan. On the Military Watch, Tug Carrillo, News 3.